Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets or a midday review of European markets for the uh, Friday session, 6th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Also, with regards to the uh, new app, Trade Signal app, certainly visit Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the numbers, Asian markets overnight really subdued to a large extent. You had the Nikkei certainly under pressure, down one, minus 0.34%. You had the Shanghai negative as well, 0.3%. So a risk off tone from, certainly from the Asian markets. In terms of the European markets this morning, economic data-wise, uh, the um, exports, imports data certainly from uh, France certainly slightly uh, improving, although the retail sales figure from the uh, German index certainly uh, weaker side. Okay, factory orders as well, certainly on the weaker side. Uh, imports and exports, again, from France, and the trade balance certainly improving, so therefore helping the uh, French economy to a large extent. In terms of the Eurozone, retail sales, again, certainly weak, although consumer confidence and uh, business sentiment. Uh, an economic sentiment indicator, certainly on the stronger side, and also the industrial confidence as well. But retail sales for Germany and Eurozone, certainly on the weaker side, and therefore, uh, obviously, indicating a risk of tone. Especially given the fact that we have rallied on the euro, euro now at the 1.0575, also the uh, the actual sterling as well certainly rallied, and therefore obviously that's uh, indicating uh, certainly uh, risk off tone once again. Okay, uh, in terms of the technical picture, let's bring up the technical picture for you now. Really, it's all about the uh, FTSE at present, also the German DAX as well to a large extent. If we bring up the German DAX, we're still making that lower high, no higher high, so certainly a lower high. We are coming now into approaching a gap fill. Uh, support and therefore obviously indicating resistance again on the German DAX. French CAC, bring up the French CAC, daily chart really is in no man's land trading sideways, 60 minute chart, uh, obviously all, all eyes on this H&S formation after breaking that bullish channel, although like I said it has been helped by stronger trade balance. You're certainly holding support, we were unable to break that support at 4876, certainly have rallied from there. And you do have the unfilled gap as well above, so again that will be a zone to 48, uh, 4900, potentially 4905 to look to potentially short, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, again, the daily chart certainly is holding that doji level. Uh, we are now putting in a bearish engulfing candle as well, so bear that in mind. 60-minute chart certainly has confirmed double top at the uh, 7205 to 7210 level with the unfilled gap below at 7120, okay, so bear that in mind. 10 minute chart, you have this HS formation looking for this right shoulder to play out around the Fib 61 to 75, and then looking for a potential flush down to gap fill below. Okay, so again, looking for risk aversion. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European uh, markets uh, for now. Bias certainly remains bearish. Okay, going into the, uh, the actual uh, NFP uh, number for US markets, and again, uh, from my understanding, uh, the S&P and the, the Nasdaq certainly are under immense pressure at this juncture, especially with the S&P 500 daily chart. We're back into that key resistance zone now, okay? Uh, looking for this uh, potential resistance to hold and then looking to potentially flush. Now, if I go to the 60-minute uh, chart, give you a better insight. Looking for this bear flag to play out, obviously down to gap fill below at 2257 and then you have gap fill at 2240. So certainly um, bias on the downside. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and also download the latest app. Goodbye now.